All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear. I don't know if you've been living up under a rock or, you know, in a cave, but this place is through. The guy of the Bible is bringing this place down systematically, like he did ancient Egypt. He's doing modern day Egypt the same way. You know? He said the plagues of ancient Egypt is going to hit this place. But they got a um, policy now for the safety of our customers and employees. A no face mask, no entry policy is in effect. No mask, no gloves. No mask, no gloves. But oh yeah, everybody thought it was all good. Thought it was all good. No mask, no gloves. And then um the elder Ayatan, you know what I'm saying, um posted a um met, put a little post on the um internet, on the YouTube or whatever you want to call it, of Walmart, Target. In Costco's, they, they ain't selling no more clothes. Ain't, ain't no more clothes. Ho, look, you women out there, hope no closets was big enough. Hope you bought enough outfits. Your ass get, you better pull out that needle and thread. You better pull it out. The majority of you women are through, man. All right? Only thing you know how to do is text and twerk. Then, then think about doing the womanly duties at the scriptures. You, you just ran your mouth. The scriptures say, look, you're supposed to guide the household. You, you're supposed to know how to cook, sew. Everything that a woman's supposed to know how to do, you women don't know how to do it. The only thing you know how to do is be rebellious and run that mouth and text. Now, Walmart, Costco's, and Target, they ain't selling clothes no more. Now, now what? Now what are you going to do? You better make you a pair of drawers, you know. But without further ado, we're going to hop right into it, man. The Spirit just had me say that, man. It's a rap for everybody that was rebellious. All you Israelites, re look, all you rebellious Israelites, look, the Lord said, it's a rap for you, man. Your worst nightmare is coming to pass. Your worst nightmare is coming to pass, man. And you can't do nothing about it. You can't stop it or nothing. Yahweh Bashim Shai, look, was speaking through his men. And he told y'all what it was. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25, destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none, destruction coming. Destruction is here. you still seeking peace. you still thinking this is going to be over by the time football season start. You people still thinking by the time June is June. You think by the time June comes, you go, you go, it's going to be over and you're going to be back at the club. Turn it up. Toss it up. Toss it up. Now, no. No. Destruction cometh. And they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. Why? Because Egypt shall mourn. And, look, and this is just the beginning of sorrows. This is just the, the beginning of sorrows. Oh, yeah. The men on the corner, though, that was telling you these things through the spirit of your house, but she shot. They was crazy as hell, on it. You know. They weren't speaking the truth. Now, look. Everything that we said according to the Bible is coming to pass, man. Now, look. Run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Oh, yeah. All the wig shops closed, too. You can't get you can't get your extensions, you know. Can't get your poetic justice on them big ass braids. You you can't do it now. Now you gotta start doing your own hair now. You know you can't go nowhere and get your hair did. That's what Millie Elliot, Missy Elliot said, right? Her hair did right. Isaiah chapter twenty four, verse ten. The city of confusion is broken down. What's the city of confusion? Babylon, a.k.a. America. The city of confusion where you don't know a man from a woman, a woman from a man. You don't know up from down, right from left. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up. 
Got you locked down. Only, only the only place you can go is on your porch. Barbecue on your porch. No more beach. Can't go show off your legs, your breasts, your buttocks. None of that. Sit it down. You women, you didn't want to stand. Nobody can make you stay in the house, but the, the Lord could. The Lord did. He made you take your butt back in the house. And then you got to deal with them badass kids. You got about eight, nine kids. You got to hear them talking all day. Money, 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 money. Where are you that deaf? You should have been in the house. Every house is shut up. And no man may come in. There's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth, meaning all that partying, having fun, celebrating and all that. Living your best life, right? That's what that look, that's that's what you said. All joy is darkened. The mirth, the listen, the mirth of the land is gone. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thrill is gone, man. And look, look, and look, you see how, hap how fast it happened? Did you see how fast it happened? It was all good just a week ago. Now look. The thrill is gone. The definition for the word mirth. It's a noun. Amusement. Especially as expressed in laughter. I, I don't see too many people laughing. Now remember, you mock the scoffers out there on the highway and the byways. You mock the messengers of your how by Shemiah Shah, right? Now, no mask, no service. No mask and gloves, no service. Now look. The government can't do that. They, they, they can't make a stay in our houses. The government can't make me you know, not go to the beach. They can't stop me from partying. Yes, they can. And yes, they is. Mirth, amusement, especially as expressed in laughter, cheerfulness, you know, glee. The Lord took the glee out of this place, man. Joy, fun, enjoyment, pleasures. You have by Shemel Shah taking your pleasures and everything. The God of the Bible is doing all this, man. We ain't giving Esau no credit. It's the Lord that's doing all this, man. If the Lord wants you dead, you're a dead man. If you have by Shemel Shah wants you to stay alive, then you're going to stay alive. Right? You know? Took away the festivities out of Egypt, man. The Lord did all this. No mask, no gloves, man. No service. You know? Just when you thought it was all to the good. You know? Just when you thought it was all to the good. The Lord, you no know, said, had a trick up his sleeve. Hey. He had a trick up his sleeve. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. This is the heavenly father speaking. The most high, Yahweh. He said his counsel shall stand. His counsel shall stand. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil, meaning these bad times, who created them? The God of the Bible, man. You're going to learn, man. You Israelites should have been took heed to what the scripture said. But nah. Now look, look, no more clubs. No more tattoo shops. The tattoo man got to come to your crib now and put a tattoo on you. He got to bring his table and everything. The DJ, you look, you gotta listen to the DJ, you gotta dance to the DJ over the internet now. Can't come to the crib. Can't to, can't go to the club. Shut it down. You women can't go to that wig shop no more. Can't go to that African lady to braid your hair all tight. Like your skull about to come out your head. Through. Through. 
through. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, meaning these bad times once again are being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. I, the Lord, listen, I, the Lord, caps, man. I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, I will shine. Do all these things, man. Do all these things. Man, the scripture's been told you this is not our rest. Uh, you look, you look, you kept screaming, you're living your best life, yeah. You just kept screaming that right, played it all summer. Could tell Jake nothing. Now look, everybody's feeling up. You look, you heathens too. Y'all smack dead in the middle of it too, man. Micah chapter 2 verse 10, arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Gotcha, bitch. This is not your rest. You, you made America your nesting egg. You put all your eggs in one basket. Thought, thought, thought nothing could be finer. Because they live in America. Yeah. The free, the proud, the Marines. The free, the land of the free. Now, look, look. Now see how free you are. The scriptures told us we are yet this day in our captivity. We were scattered. Wherever the Israelites were scattered at hell, you're in captivity. Now you're starting to realize that now. Now you're starting to realize you can't just do whatever the hell you want to do. You're realizing that now. You're finally realizing. You're finally starting to get it. Arise, you in the park. For this is not your rest. Look, come back to your house by Shemel Shah. That door is closing. The doors of mercy is closing. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with the sore destruction, man. This place is out of here. This place is out of here, man. You can't see it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision, aka the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, and we most definitely at the end, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The word tarry means to wait. Yahweh Bashmiel Shah was holding the majority of the prophecies back. But now he's unleashing them, man. Now he's starting to unleash the cracking. Yeah. He's starting to unleash the cracking. All these plagues, all these different diseases. You know. Everything coming to pass. And it's just beautiful. No one took heed to the words you have about Shemel Now they're hitting you like, bam! Then they straight up hitting you like, bam! You know, let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 15. I'm going to start it on. I, I started four. For all the unfaithful shall die. In their unfaithfulness, the majority of our people, they didn't believe in the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Hashem. They didn't think this could happen. Like we always say, they was planning what they're going to do this summer, you know. They had the beach homes, you know. They had the sun and tan lotion, the towels, the outfits, the bikinis. They was getting ready. They was showing up getting ready for the fun, for the festivities, for the murfing. They was going to murf it up. They was going to pop them bottles. They was going to pop them bottles. Then the Lord said, you ain't popping nothing. You know, you ain't popping nothing. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? They don't die, man. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. For wickedness has exceedingly proved the whole earth. And the hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness, the wickedness of America has reached the heavens, man. And now the guy of the Bible, look, look, he's been tired of name making a move on this place. That sinful kingdom is look, look, the eyes of the Lord upon this sinful kingdom. And he's about to destroy it from off the face of the earth. He's going to destroy this sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth, man. While everybody else was having fun, the men of the Lord was getting their acts together. I'm going to come right back because the men of the Lord, through the spirit of your house, the Lord been telling you through his men. 
who was coming down the pipeline. You look, re refuse to take heed every time. Then you got to pull out that sewing kit. If you got a sewing kit. Through. Through, man. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. Meaning a bad time we prophesy of war. World War Three is going to be the end all be it all. But before that come, you people are going to catch pure hell, man. Pure hell. Okay? Pure hell. The problem is prophesied a war. And look, look, nobody won't pay attention to nothing. Just walking on by. Every weekend, walking on by. Look, even cross the street to get away from hearing the words of Yahweh about Shemiah was shot. Yeah, I know you remember that. I know you remember that. And of evil, meaning these bad times, the prophets of the Lord, see, you have by Shemel Shai sent forth his men, the prophets, the prophesy of these things, to tell you these things way before it happened, to get you right. So you can get yourself right with the Lord, but you refuse to take heed. Now look, it's going to get worse, man. These stores are going to close down soon come. Now, you, you can still go into the store. You just got to have a, on a mask and some gloves. But soon come, the store is going to close down. The Lord going to close these stores soon come. And of pestilence, meaning these diseases, the men of the Lord, been told you these things, man. Been told you these things through the spirit of your house. But you remember, the Lord been speaking. you just been ignoring the warning. The Lord told us to give a warning from me. Going right back, Ezekiel, uh, 2nd Ezra, Salakia, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 12. Egypt, the house of bondage, aka America, Egypt shall mourn, not celebrate, you know? And the majority of you Israelites still ain't turned back to the God of the Bible yet. You, you still have that southern crack. Still smoking weed. <laughs> you know, still trying to mess with the next man's woman. Still celebrating your birthday and all the customs of the heat. You ain't turned back yet. All the signs of fear of destruction coming to this place. And you still haven't turned back yet. The woman's still out of order running her damn mouth. You know. Rebellious babies and kids. Look at them. You know. Until you aquas out there that's trying to the best of your ability, look, look, keep trying. We, look, we, we at the end, keep trying. There, look, there, there's hope. I, I want, I want to read this. And you sincere occupants, man, hey, look, do what we, we gotta do what we gotta do too. We at the end of this thing, you can see it. Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is 50, let him be 50 still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. So, so judgment is coming for each and every last one of us, man. Everybody is in their lot. Everybody's playing their role. We constantly pray to you how about Shemiah Shai that he keep us down that path of righteousness though. You know. So let's go back. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague. And punishment that Yahweh by Hashem Shai shall bring upon it. So all these things are being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. He's doing it all, man. All right? Egypt shall mourn, man. You know. All hell about to break loose. And this is just the beginning of it. You know? Jump into 17, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because martial law getting ready to pop up and they're going to lock down these cities. They're going to lock them down. 
You ain't gonna be able to go nowhere, man. You know? If your mama stay in Florida, you, you'll never see her again except through the phone. You'll never touch her again when martial law pop off. And we right here, we right here at the door of it. But oh yeah, we, we, look, we, we was false prophets though, right? The Bible ain't real, right? Remember? For because of their pride, pride go up for destruction too. You people have been very prideful against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil, meaning rob, and spoil their goods, because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation, all hell about to break loose. They're going to close down these grocery stores. If you got any food in your house, somebody going to come up in your house and bust your head wide open. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, and take it, man. But it was all good just a week ago. You was planning what you was going to do this summer. You had a 50-year plan what you were going to do for the next 50 years. You had it all mapped out. But, but you forgot one thing. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh controls everything. You forgot that one right there. Yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you did. You forgot that, man. Second Ezra chapter 15, sex slack you. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 1. Warn to the Babylon and Asia. Warn to the Egypt and Syria. Gear up yourselves with cloths of sack. Go, look, look. Go to the house of mourning. It's about to be a whole lot of mourning. Mourning, mourning what you see now. In hair. Be well, your children. Cry for your children. Cry for them. Because you sure don't about to lose them. Be well, your children. And be sorry. For look, for your destruction is at hand, man. For your destruction is at hand, baby. And this is thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible saying this. I didn't say it. I'm just reading it. And like we always say through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashmiel Shah, it was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago. Right? It was all good just a week ago. You know you said it was. You know? Amos chapter 8 verse 10 and I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentations and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head and I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day, man. And look, and that's what you see. You ain't able to get together and celebrate your customs, your pagan customs, like Easter, uh, Valentine's Day, and all this other nonsense, right? Fourth of July, President's Day. You can't get together and celebrate them stupid customs, man. He said, Egypt shall mourn. The Lord said it. And these words ain't going to go out void, man. This is my last one. And I'm going to wrap it up. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, in the city? And the Lord have not done it? No masks and gloves, no service. No mask and gloves, no service. The Lord said, look, he ain't bringing peace. He's bringing a sword. And like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, Walmart, Target, and Costco's, which are which are major uh, distributors, say they, they you, you can't buy no more clothes in there. You know, they ain't selling the clothes no more. Lord willing, I do a lesson on that and just pull that post up from the elder. At the eye of thun. See, when you don't take heed and when you don't pay attention, you get caught off guard every time. 
Israel, repent, turn back to your high about Shemir Amashah, because guess what? It's showing up going down. It's showing up going down. Shalom.